I'm borrowing this off of Tony, Eric Johnson Strat, and I wanted to show you what I think is my favorite Eric Johnson solo, and it's the outro solo from Manhattan. Manhattan happens to be in this kind of E flat minor, G flat major. <laughs> Right, so we start off with this really beautiful. Thing going on here, so we start. Underneath the chord of A flat minor. So we're starting on the ninth fret. An arpeggio. Up to the 11th. And then up here to the 11th fret. And you get so you're basically spelling out a spread triad of B major so you could even extend that and you get 13th fret 14th fret 11th fret then a 12th fret 11th fret down to the 14th. Something like that where you're going from like a sort of slide up to 13. So attack, slide, and then slide back down to the 13th fret on the uh, D string. So beautiful opening phrase one of my favorite things that Eric's ever played to be honest and then we come down to here so kind of six eight nine uh, we could play it here but I think it sounds to me like maybe there so it's rising up the major scale from the sixth and then we kind of pick up here uh, with this lovely thing uh, so 11th fret on the D string 11th fret on the stri uh, B string so you get this lovely little Eleven, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, and then another awesome arpeggio. So six, eight, nine, seven, and again, that's just another incredible phrase. And you could do this kind of hammer on pull off thing from the uh, ninth to the eleventh, back down to the thirteenth fret. So you get six, eight, nine, seven, up to the eleven. And that's kind of again either like a A flat minor or B major kind of outlining and then we get a really cool arpeggio uh, another beautiful one that's just uh, gold after gold so six nine eight seven nine nine twelve eleven Again, I'm still kind of pinning that to my B major. And 
and then we come back up here to the 13th fret um, to the 11, 12, 14. So down in the pentatonic scale, 14, 11, 14, and then hextonic, 12, 11, 13, and then like another slide. And then we get yet another incredible arpeggio. Down here on the seventh fret, again, I would view this as sort of like a B major. But with the six. So we get a B, or sorry, fret seven, six, nine, six, nine, eight, seven, eleven. So all of that up to this point is quite uh, accessible to be able to play. It just takes a bit of time to figure out what all of the arpeggios are. Like none of that is particularly flashy or anything. Um, and all of it is kind of based around this kind of spread. Kind of B arpeggio. This last bit is tricky, so we go. Uh, so we're focusing here on the like E flat minor uh, pentatonic scale. And then the next position up as well. So we're kind of going to go 11, 12, and then do that. Uh, so 13, 14, 13, 11, 13, 14. And you kind of rise up from there. And then we get to the top of the run here. And back down. And that's kind of how it happens out of time. And you're going to kind of try and crush that in Play it with Eric slowly. So a bit of a handful. You could equally do it like that without the slide. Instead of sliding up, we slide up to here, so we should in the pentatonic scale really have, instead we get something like that. So give that a go. I think it's an incredible solo. I'm going to take some passages from it and um, move them into another key as well. So if we played this in G, let's try this. Yeah. 
kind of work so you could take little parts of it especially right in F almost to it but yeah that's a super 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 cool solo i think um feel free to like and subscribe if you want i'm going to put together a tab for this for the patreon members as well as obviously the backing track but just such an accessible solo most of it and so beautiful sounding <laughs> definitely one I think worth learning because it's incredible. I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers.